Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome to Academia School Simulator. That's right, it's a brand new Let's Play series. Everybody's got their hands on Academia today. The, um, the uh, embargo is lifted and we can all start posting our games. I've actually been playing this game on and off for about a week. The developers were nice enough to invite me to get involved with the testing, so I've got a little bit of experience. So let's, uh, let's jump right in and... Uh, See how this works out. Now I like to do uh, like green and yellow, make some nice colors. There we go. I like that we can set up our own school here. We're not going to call it that silly thing. We'll call it Vanilla Halls because everybody loves our classic Vanilla Hills name. And I've got a special uh, Latin um, uh, um, slogan, whatever for us. So. Uh, quid sus vestri tempore zona. That is the slogan of our high school, and that is Latin. So if you want to look it up and see what that means, you can do so. Uh, we can set up our own little icons here. I like that star there. We're going to be very education based. There you go, an Adam. And um, hmm, what else do we got here? Oh, scroll. That looks educational. Maybe, ah, pi, there we go, great. So star, astronomy, biology, reading, and math. Very good stuff. All right, so we are ready to go with Vanilla Halls. Let's get this school started. So, very familiar if you've played uh, Prison Architect. Um, this is from the artist of Prison Architect. He uh, came up with this game. And you start with a blank map. And uh, first thing you want to do is kind of make sure that you have your zones set up. Um, now, for some reason, the uh, delivery zone or the workers' quarter zone is is like irregular and um, a little little too large. So I like to cut that off, and that way I can put a nice wall here. Now, one thing it does have is the ability to do a uh, to do a layout um and you i thought you went to layout for, for, oh yeah that's right i forgot it uh, sometimes we'll forget to close one of those windows down there you go so you can do the layout here so uh, i like to have like two wide hallways and then we're going to go six wide on the classrooms great and uh, so you can lay out all of your uh stuff and um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And we're back. Uh, so I have laid out all of the walls. I know I went through and I did the whole layout thing. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and lay out these walls while we're waiting as well, because there's a lot of building and it does take quite a, quite a bit of time in this game here. As a matter of fact, I probably should have laid out all of this concrete flooring as well while we were uh, paused, but uh, I guess I can do that now while we've got the clock running. I also can turn the speed up because they have plenty of building to do while we're waiting. So um, yeah, uh, so far from playing here, I feel like I've got a pretty good basic setup for our school. Um, there are a specific number of rooms that you want to build and um, I kind of like the layout that I have going on for getting all of those rooms done. So once I get all of this flooring in here, I will show you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put bathroom tile in the bathrooms. Not that you need to. And it actually may be more expensive than regular floor. I didn't consider that. Um, how much is a bathroom tile? Does it say? Concrete tile is... $10 per square bathroom tile is $10 per square. So it doesn't matter. All right. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Let's try this again. There we go. And there we go. Now I do also need to make sure that I put doors in doors for some reason are in the objects. I, no, they're not. That is uh, sim airport where they do that. I gotta make sure I put doors in these rooms. You can see we got a construction guy trapped down here because I forgot to put a door in that room. And uh, we'll have doors in our restrooms here. And in uh, whatever that room is gonna be, this is gonna be the janitor's closet. Uh, this'll be the uh, cafeteria. 
Lots of doors in the cafeteria, very popular place. And then we'll put some doors in these rooms up here, which will be like the library and the classroom and some other stuff. Now, it's kind of a drag that these guys get stuck in these rooms and like they're not smart enough to uh, to build the um, to build the door. Uh, like they're all hanging around. I don't know what they're waiting for, the concrete or something like that. I really don't know. But I can start laying down some zones while we're waiting. So this will be our cafeteria. We got that. We're going to have four classrooms. And uh, these are the six by six rooms that I have kind of set up in the corners here. Three and four. And uh, the faculty room is, whoops, I guess. There you go, we're gonna lay that one down tomorrow. I believe that's gonna be the faculty room right here, right? And uh, the janitor's room is this little one. And our club is gonna be here. And the computer lab here. And the library up here we're gonna have two toilets and finally the kitchen i think is the only one i'm missing oh i didn't leave enough room for the clinic shame on me is there any room we can do without not really how did i forget to put a clinic in there well, I'll still take care of it. Um, I guess that just means we're gonna have to put in a uh, door here and a, uh, whoops, I guess that's not where I wanna put that door. Can I, can I cancel that? Um, I wanna put a wall there. There we go. And we will put a door right there and that can be where the clinic is going to go and uh, i guess i would want to zone that out as well clinic voila and uh, maybe put some uh, concrete floors down and we're going to let these guys do their jobs and we will catch back up once they're a little more caught up in getting some of this building done. Okay, so our school is built and uh, we just need to start putting in some furniture and stuff. So uh, there's uh, different little tabs down here for each of your different rooms, which is really handy. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the classrooms. Now you need a minimum of 10, um, uh, 10 desks in each room, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna try to really load this school up. I guess if I could see, okay, there we go. Um, I think I might actually try doing like maybe up to 18 in each class. Do I really want to try that many? That's an awful lot. I just don't, I, I haven't had enough experience playing like to see how well teachers handle classrooms and stuff but we're gonna uh we're gonna we're gonna give this a try now unfortunately you do have to click on each one it'd be nice if you could like drag and place multiple desks something along those lines or even uh, copy a template or something but it's important to remember this is a uh, very the very first alpha uh so it's not like um, you know what I mean? Like that's a good, good piece of feedback to give these guys, um, uh, put it in the request, uh, request forums or whatever. I don't really know what kind of forums they're going to have set up. Uh, steam forums. I'm sure people love using the steam forums to leave comments and requests and knowing how steam works. That is where people will be leaving a lot of comments and requests. These guys are going to have their hands full when this game well, I guess this game already has been launched if you're watching this, right? These guys are going to have their hands full for the next week or so. Getting uh, getting the initial feedback.
feedback from the masses. Um, there's a, like this, this is a, a fun game. Um, it's, it's got a few little, uh, quirks. Is that the right way of putting it? You'll notice as we go, as we play along. Uh, it definitely has some great potential, I think. Um, but it's, it's maybe a little rough right now. Um, it's still, it's still playable and everything, as you can see. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, you'll, you'll see, you'll see what I mean as the series goes on. I don't think you're really going to notice today. The, uh, construction thing, I mean, you saw some of the little flaws there where those guys got stuck in those rooms and everything. Um, but, uh, they've already mentioned that there was some, some AI trouble that they have noticed and that they're working on patching up. So I'm going to assume that the problems I ran into with the construction are related to those AI problems. And I'm not really going to harp on, whoops, uh, harp on the, uh, the, uh, construction thing. Um, but the construction did take a little longer and was a little messier than I was expecting. Uh, so we're going to have our club room here, which is where the kids can go to hang it. Kids can go to hang out. And they definitely are going to want to have a uh, good hangout room here. And uh, we're going to be putting these chairs in here. And then we'll put tables in here in a minute too. Now it's not necessary to start with all these different rooms. Um, but you will see that there are... Um, there are, uh, like, um, grants for each of these different rooms. So you do get a, a bonus for, uh, like there's a financial incentive for having all these rooms at the very start. And, uh, like I said, I've played, played through a few times. I haven't gotten too far in any of my schools, uh, because there were some, some problems um, that hopefully have been addressed. Um, but, uh, I did get far enough to where I, I knew how to have a successful start in your school and, uh, we'll see how that works out. Over here's the computer lab. I went a little overboard on the size of this computer lab. I probably could have, probably could have squeezed the clinic in, in here as well. Uh, but you know, what are you going to do? I didn't. I do like having this little hallway over here uh, to give people a little more room to be able to walk around. Let's see, that's two, four, five garbage cans. I need a sixth one somewhere. There you go. Um, if we go to the computer lab. There's the computers. And we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. And... Uh, Library is next here in the library. I like to put the bookshelves up against the walls. And then I like to put the desks in the middle. Now the students really do like going to the library. And they uh, a lot of students will spend their time in here. And I'm not quite sure what that does exactly. Uh, but you would think it would like help with their studying or something like that. But like I said, I'm not I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, there we go. I'll put the tables right in the middle of the room like that. And then chairs around the tables. Dang it. That's my fault. I'm trying to use a steam controller for this. Um, and I, I normally would use my mouse, but I, I injured myself recently. And so I haven't really been able to use my arm as well as I had hoped. And I was hoping that the Steam Controller would be a, a reasonable um, reasonable uh, alternative. It's not too bad. I'm just not used to it. So uh, the uh, kind of fiddliness that you're seeing here, that's not, that's not the game's fault. That's my fault for using a controller that I'm just not quite, uh, not quite practiced with. So... We're going to rotate that, and we're going to place a chair at each of these desks. So we'll have our faculty room. How are we doing on funds? We still have $30,000. 
so I don't need to worry too much about that. Um, I want to get our clinic set up. Uh, we need a couple of medical beds. And we'll need some uh, chairs in here for people to rest in. Those are like waiting chairs. And then some medicine cabinets. Seems self-explanatory what those are for. All right, we got the kitchen still to do. Kitchen is going to have a couple of sinks. And a couple of refrigerators. And a couple of stoves. One there. And one there. Why not? Great. All right, and then finally, cafeteria, and the cafeteria should be the last, oh wait, the bathroom, still we still have the bathrooms, great. All right, so I like to put in a few extra food counters because uh, those students, they, uh, they need to have plenty of time to eat. I'm not really sure what the plate counters do, like I understand, maybe the, maybe the students have to go there to grab plates. I thought that was like where they put their dirty dishes, but you know what, I bet you that's where they grab plates in the first place. All right, so if we do one, two, three, like that. It's not too bad. Or if we did them this way, we could do one, one, two. You know what, I'm gonna go that way. We can cram a few more in there this way. One, two, all right. Beautiful. And uh, each of those holds eight students, right? One, two, three, four, eight. So that's going to be 64. And we have four classrooms of, of uh, 18. So that's going to be 64. Wow, crazy. I guess four, four classrooms of 16 is the same as eight times eight. So that, that it would explain why they all match up. Okay, and then we have our bathrooms to do and we will be done. So I'll throw in a couple of sinks. Now, one thing that I noticed in the previous uh, uh, playing before release was that the kids do not wash their hands. So I'm going to be optimistic and hope that they will wash their hands, but I'm also going to understand that they probably won't. So I'm not going to put, not really going to put enough sinks in there. Also, the male students would not use the toilet cubicles for some reason. Um, I guess they're they're a little more uh, a little more um, uh, not as shy as like me. Um, I mean, I'll use a urinal, but if, if there's no weight or anything, I'll, I'll try to sneak into a uh, cubicle if I can. Um, but uh, not in academia. In academia, they run straight for the uh, urinals. Um, all right. And uh, we go to zone and we go to uh, zone edit. And then we're going to turn this into, nope. Oh, you gotta wait until it's actually ready to go. There we go, this will be the male toilet. And uh, get one of those urinals installed, you guys. They're not urinals, they're um, little closets. There you go. Uh, female toilet, great. What's the janitor's room missing? Oh no, it's supposed to be four by four. Oh, and it requires actual stuff now. Well, shoot, I did not do that so good, no. That's okay, we can we can solve that. Um, I need to go to objects, objects, dismantle, and dismantle all those objects. And uh, we're gonna go to build. Actually, I noticed that there's a little problem with using that build deconstruction thing. So we're gonna dismantle this wall the old fashioned way.
There we go. And then we're going to rebuild the wall. Right there. And uh, I'm going to go to zone. And we're going to edit the zone. We're going to... No. Edit that zone. And we're going to remove that zone. And I need to rebuild the uh, flooring in this room right there. Like that. Oh, and I didn't put a door in this room for some reason. Uh, there we go. Right there. Great. Everything else looks like they have doors. Very good. Okay, so now we go zone. And uh, janitor's room actually requires something now. So that's kind of cool. There we, ah, let's try that again. Ah, dang it. Now, uh, now what? Hey, I'm on zone edit. Why won't you let me edit that zone? Oh, I guess it didn't didn't go down or something? That's weird. All right. There's the janitor's room and then uh, here's the faculty room. Like that. I say, here's the faculty room. There we go. And um, uh, I guess we lost those desks and stuff, but that's okay. What do we need for the janitor's room? A kitchen sink, a table, and four chairs. So we're going to put in a... Uh, there we go. Nice. Janitor's room. A kitchen sink in the janitor's room. That makes sense, I guess. Um, like that. And a table. And four chairs. One, two, three, four. All right. Uh, so now, go to staff. Go to teacher. Now, teachers come in multiple different varieties. There's uh, doctors, like Dr. Sperin, Sper, Sperindio here. Um, he has very high skills overall. Uh, and then there are bachelors, or no, masters, like Marianne Neubauer, who has reasonable skills overall. And then there are bachelors who have terrible skills. And uh, yeah. Um, so I can see here, there's Catherine of Sky. Uh, she's gotten her name in the game here. Uh, the developers uh, did that for a few Let's Play people. So that's, uh, that's real nice uh, that she got in here. Um, some of these other people may be, like, I recognize Catherine of Sky. I don't know. Like, Peter Green looks like he must be somebody who's gotten his name in the game, but I don't know who that is. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really uh, worried about that. Um, so, I typically like to hire uh, master's degree teachers. I would like to be able to hire doctors, but I, I, we can't quite afford that uh, at the start here. So we're going to start out with uh, with a, with four master's degree teachers. So let's go ahead and we'll just start at the very beginning. We'll take her. Now, I don't want to dismantle the chalkboard. I just want to place my teacher. And we will take uh, Vito here. Um, there we go. And I guess I need to... Uh, um, I need to uh, actually assign these guys some classrooms. So if we go to zone edit, because we, we're, you can see we're running out of money, but we're going to be able to start meeting some of these grants here real soon. So this is our freshman, freshman classroom. We're going to assign one of our teachers to it. Select. And we're going to close that down. And then we're going to open up that one. And we're going to turn that into a sophomore classroom, maybe in the morning. And we're going to assign a teacher there. There we go. And, um, oh, I got to hire three cooks. Hopefully I didn't spend all my money. Uh-oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so I loaded up uh, autosave. Uh, so don't spend all your money first. Make sure you go to the uh, grants thing and start completing some of your grants before you spend all your money. Let's hire those three cooks. There we go. And uh, that completed our grant. It got us 
Wait, did it get us more money? Oh, I've already got two teachers. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. Huh. Okay. I don't know. Um, let's uh, go ahead and apply for. Let's apply for some of these grants that we already know. Like we already have our sophomore, um, sophomore thing done. So let's apply for that grant. And we have a. I just need to assign the teacher, I guess, to the sophomore classroom. Um, so we go to zones and we go to zone edit and I go to this one and I edit classroom and I change that to sophomore and I assign teacher. So that must be where it auto saved just before I did this and when we went broke. There we go. So now I got the bonus for that as well. Cool. A couple of education things completed. Let's go look at our to-do list again here. Um, uh, we should have the toilet training one already completed. Great. Um, expanding horizons. Build a library, build a computer lab, boom. No man is an island, build a club, boom. Cleanliness, no, we need that one, not quite yet. Faculty room, there we go, boom. Junior students, okay, so now I'm back up to $36,000. So make sure you don't spend all your money before you go through all the grants. I felt kind of stupid. Um, so we're gonna edit this. Oh, I need to hire, the, uh, hire a couple more teachers here real quick couple more of those um, of the uh, uh, level two teachers. I don't really have any particular preference for them. Um, it would be nice if they had like sci better science skills, but we've only got the two of them. So uh, we're going to hire that one. Plop you down right there. And looks like he's the only other one available. So we'll hire him. We'll plop you down right there. Great. And we will close that down. Let's just close it down like that right there. Um, and, uh, whoops, I guess I need to go back to edit zone. And we will edit this to a junior and assign a teacher. And it's going to be Alfredo. And then finally, our final classroom right here, edit classroom. Senior, assigned teacher, turtle bite, select. There we go. And um, that will be the senior student thing. Apply. Uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. We need to hire four janitors. I can do that pretty easy. Janitor, we need to hire more than four. I'm going to hire 10 because it's good to have a lot of janitors. School health, we need two nurses. I can do that. There we go. And uh, 50 students, we'll do that real soon. Basically, as soon as we start the school year, uh, we will actually have 64 students, right? 16? Or no, 18 per classroom? 40 plus 24? No, plus 32, we'll have 72 students. So I don't have enough chairs in here. Hmm, that's not gonna be good. But we are going to have to wait until the next episode to find that out because we've reached the end of this episode. All right, you guys, there you go. Look at our school. It is ready for students. We're going to find out what happens tomorrow when they start showing up. But until then, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Click the like button or subscribe or leave a comment. That's what I meant to say, but subscribe too if this is your first time to my channel. Thank you so much for checking it out. And uh, if you're like me, you're looking forward to the next episode. It's going to be exciting. I'll see you then, guys. Bye.